When classifying certain cultural products as art and other cultural products as not art, there are several things at stake. One of them is the aesthetic significance of the cultural product. Because aesthetic significance is contextually bound and changes over time, what one group of people might consider aesthetically significant, another group of people might not consider aesthetically significant. As Dr. Callahan also mentioned in the lectures, the cave paintings show how aesthetic significance changes over time because whenever they were first produced, they were not considered aesthetically significant, but later on, they were. Another thing at stake when, when classifying certain cultural products as art and other cultural products as not art is their influence on the world. Art has agency, which means that it has the potential to influence and make a difference in the world. So the cultural products that are to be classified as art are going to impact our world and even more so our society. So it's important to make sure that the cultural products chosen or classified as art are going to have a positive influence on the world and our society. As well as, as Dr. Callahan said, cultural products are used as avenues to better understand the human experience. So the cultural products classified as art, it's important that they accurately represent what it's like to live during this time period. So when people look back, they get an accurate representation of what it was like to live during this time. So there are several things at stake when classifying certain cultural products as art and other cultural products as not art.